So how much of schizophrenia really is genetic and how much of it is environmental? About 60, 40 or slightly more. Genetic is about 60 to 70 percent. Wow. Uh, and the rest is, is environmental. And, and that's important to know because some of those environmental causes can be prevented. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like which of the environmental causes can be prevented? Well, let me tell you. Uh, yes. I mean, we mentioned numerous uh, genetic ways a person can become, develop schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the environmental causes. Okay. Back to what we said earlier. Yes. It all starts during fetal life. So anything that goes wrong, uh, any bad thing that happens to the mother, during pregnancy. Such as starvation, that, That's illness. an example. Many, many things. I'm going to list them for you. Okay. I mean, based on studies that have been published. Thanks. Uh, yes. So again, uh, while the brain is developing during fetal life, many things can, can go wrong during pregnancy that may increase the risk of schizophrenia later on in life. Okay. For example, infections. Uh, any in bad infection the mother, a pregnant woman can get, uh, viral, bacterial, Such as an ear infection? Fungal. Severe, any severe infection because it's inflammatory biomarkers uh, you know, start flowing in the body, mm -hmm. go to the, through the placenta to the baby's brain and start setting up the baby's brain, disrupting the, the development. So yes. that's one thing. We can prevent that by immunizing women before they get pregnant. Oh. We can reduce the risk. Uh, second, you have uh, diabetes. If a woman who's oh, pregnant okay. develops diabetes, gestational diabetes is during pregnancy, it increases the risk of schizophrenia 800%. 800%. 800%. 8-fold in the baby when they grow up later. So are there certain interventions for well, women we can, with diabetes? There are ways you can you know, manage the diabetes before the woman becomes pregnant and watch her carefully. Good prenatal care is vital so that the woman does not develop diabetes. Do psychiatrists ever talk about perhaps going into the developing world and bringing intervention for people there with Oh, diabetes? that would be great, but it's, you know, because in the, in the developing world, there's a lot of poor prenatal care. Yes. Uh, and that can increase the risk of, of those environmental causes. Uh, oh. an, another an, an environmental cause is hypothyroidism. If a pregnant woman becomes hypothyroid, the risk of schizophrenia goes up significantly in wow. the baby. Now, not all the children become schizophrenic, but the risk, the, the frequency goes up. Mm -hmm. uh, smoking. Smoking. It, yeah. Smoking is a, the worst habit you can get. It's of a bad course, addiction. Drug use as well, I would Yeah, imagine. and drug use. But smoking has been, nicotine has been shown uh, to increase the risk of schizophrenia if a mother smokes during pregnancy. Wow. Obviously, the other drugs, uh, three drugs can be very bad as well. Yes. Uh, uh, then you have, you know, vitamin D deficiency. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's very, very low, severely uh, uh, deficient, it can triple and quadruple the risk of schizophrenia in the babies. And yet it's so easy to correct with B vitamins. It is so easy to correct. And all you have to do is get good prenatal care, measure the vitamin D in the blood, and give vitamin D to the woman who has very low. If you do perfect prenatal care and address all of those dietary issues and illness issues and smoking issues and, and, and whatnot, uh, infections and so on, you, it's estimated you can reduce the, the, the risk of schizophrenia by about 30%. Amazing. You can reduce the number of people with schizophrenia by 30% mm -hmm. because we have a control over the environmental. There's one other, uh, a couple, two or three other environmental causes. Uh, 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 before we finish pregnancy, don't forget labor, mm -hmm. delivery. Yes. Very, very complicated labor where the baby suffers hypoxia and they become blue and they're born floppy. Yes. And they're not uh, crying and pink. That's a bad sign. It means that the brain suffered some oxygen loss, hypoxia. So 20 years later, the baby yeah. may develop schizophrenia because yes. of the hypoxia. Yes, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to tell you what, what happens uh, okay. uh, 20 years later uh, when psychosis appears. Mm -hmm. But here's another two examples after pregnancy. If children are severely abused sexually or physically okay. before age five or six, the rate of schizophrenia and psychosis in general is sky high. Wow. I mean, and it happens all the time. There are numerous studies showing that around the world. It's really unfortunate that children have to be abused, but it's happening, mm. and the risk of psychosis skyrockets. Very so that's preventable if we don't let kids be abused. Yeah. Then you have a risk like uh, uh, what we call urbanicity, being born and raised in a large city mm. of a million or more. This, is hap this has been reported in multiple countries around the world, not just the U.S. Interesting. Being born in a large urban area increases the risk of schizophrenia 500%. Do they know why? Is it pollution? We don't know why, but it could be stress of big cities mm. compared to rural areas. Yes. Uh, maybe infection is more likely in big cities. Uh, maybe pollution plays okay. a role. 
uh, who knows? I mean, we, we're trying to find out why this observation is, is being replicated around the world.